go ahead and film that. The cheap way. Hey, it still worked. The cheap way. <laughs> it still works. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and do all that right now. Also, these came in too. So, right now we've got the car in the lift. Make sure everything's loose. Get everything loosened up. Yeah. Yeah. How to change struts on a what was this? I don't know. 1991 Honda Chip. Quadruple turbo. Right. So we weren't smart enough to figure it out until now. <laughs> Obviously, there's two different struts, a rear and a front, and we're going to send it anyways, even though these coils are going to be kind of sketchy on these struts, but we're going to send it, and we're going to see what happens, and I'm telling him, it's going to bounce like it's on chopped springs, because these coils are fucking thick as shit. <laughs> so, here's a rear. Alright. Ugliness. <laughs> All right, cool. So that right there, right here, these. Oh, there's only two. All right, so these, there's only two nuts on both sides, obviously. And the whole strut's gonna pop out, we hope. And then we'll get to the fun part, which is taking these all apart. But look at these coil spacers. <laughs> John, you got something to say about the coil spacers? The best thing in the world ever been. Yep, best thing. Thanks, previous owner. All right, so we just got done taking off the two top hat nuts up there, which are 9 sixteenths. Now, we gotta fish out the strut, and if we can't do that, then we're gonna have to take the fork off the old strut. We might have to. Which we're gonna have to do anyway. So, you might as well do it now. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. All right. It's just, uh... Oh yeah. It's like another 9 sixteenths. Right there. Damn. Alright, there's both of the forks. 
Yeah. Yeah, this one just, just gotta get out. There it is. So, all we need off this is the uh, top hat. So we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, yeah, top hat. On top hat and... That's all right, it. so we kind of want to make this like a little bit informational. So, two nuts on top, 9 sixteenths, there's two of them. The fork bolt that connects the strut to the fork is also 9 sixteenths. You take that all the way out, then you leave the two nuts on top, and you just tap it with a hammer, it falls right out. And then what was the brake line? These, uh, I don't freaking know. All right, well, there's two brake lines. They connect to this thing, I know that. So there's two bolts that go in there, and then your brake lines are diggling, wangling, and then all right, you're good. Oh, he also has a bad uh, axle boot seal. So that, expect that in the future when this thing doesn't drive down the road anymore because I told you to change it. Anyways, okay. On to blasting these apart, which is the fun part. All right, what's going on, John? All right, so we're going to go ahead and blast these things off. Top caps. Yeah. No. No? Too small? It's too big, dude. It's not 916. Oh. There we go. That's what I'm liking. Let's start going reverse. Yep. Yeah, it's weird. It didn't even pop. Alright, that's what you gotta do. That was easy. Take the top caps off. And then this is the only thing he needs, so you can throw that shit away. If anybody wants lowering springs for a 90 Civic, they're there. Instagram at noflow underscore official. At also Facebook too, noflow garage. Noflow garage on Facebook, noflow underscore official on Instagram. You know the business. All right, so it took a little bit of thinking, but we have now figured out how this goes on. Well, we knew how it went on. We, knew, we figured it out. All right, we get it. It's yeah. right. It's, it's right now. So all he has to do now is tighten his nut, and it's going to compress it. So then we probably have to readjust it from there. But that's as simple as just doing that, right? So, boom. Six. <laughs> All right, first problem we ran into uh, is these little sleeves that go in between the bushings and the top hat. And this one uh, decided to take a shit on us. And it, uh, when we were tightening down the new struts with the coils in them, it uh, split. So I'm gonna go to AutoZone and see if they sell these individually. Mm -hmm. They probably don't. But we're gonna see anyways. I might have some at home, I don't know. Let me see it. So the start slam slamming away. Yeah. Yeah, it's all bent up. Uh, it takes fucking all day. But yeah, get you out of zone. All right, we're at a favorite fucking store. We don't live too fucking far from it. So. <laughs> cool. Got my wallet. zone on the come up. They trying to remind you when you do your oil change. AutoZone helping out the culture. So how's your day, Jeff? What time did you get here? I'm gonna go over to Diego. Oh, God. 
Are you researching? This is Jeffrey's Jeep. It's a 98 XJ four wheel drive, five speed manual overland. Mm. Grinds every gear, grinds every gear, transmission shit now, has a front locker, but it's cool. Wait, he said in this box. Look at him. In the in the tub, right? Uh, yeah, there's something right there. It's an absolute mess. Never buttoned my pants this morning. Yikes. Yikes, never buttoned my pants. Because I just bought new front shocks. Can we have like two of them? <laughs> oh wow, okay, sweet. Like the same thing as yeah, yeah. All right. Dude, Jeff with the freaking save right here. So they're not as long. Uh, they're, What's your Instagram? The same size. Jeffrey Dot Solinger, right? Yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and shout it out. Let's change the slam. Instagram boy. You got a Twitter thing? No. Everyone come to this AutoZone because this is where he works. Fuck off. Stop <laughs> Look for this red short bus. Look for this. Alright, show him a short bus and show him a real Jeep. <laughs> it's a fucking ranger. It's <laughs> even a four leader, it's a ranger. It's in line though. Eight. All right, thanks, Jeff. I'll see you later. So Dylan didn't say hi to you. What's up, boys? Nasty. <laughs> <laughs>